All right, guys, there's the first little bass. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Max Extreme River Fishing Outdoors. Today, we're going to talk about a lure. I'm going to start doing some lure videos. See all these lures I got right here, plus I got more behind me in these little file cabinets. I first learned about this lure about 30, 40 years ago on the guy that used to fish the Chipola River down in Florida for shoal bass. They call them Chipola bass down there. But anyway, he used to nug it on the river. It's a Hildebrandt nugget made by Yakima Bait Company. You see if that focuses. Right there, awesome lure. They make several sizes, but the quarter ounce is the best size. See, it's like a little spinner bait, but instead of having one arm, it has two arms with two blades. And this thing is practically weedless, so you're not gonna get that hook. Now, I have lost one of these. If you throw this up against a bank and you hit a limb or a root and it goes right over that, it may could get hooked, but it's practically weedless. I'm not saying you can't lose it because I have lost one before, but it's very rare. Awesome lure for red breast, crappy, smallmouth bass, largemouth bass, pretty much anything will hit this. Let me show you some videos on fish I've caught just this year with it, and then we'll come back and talk about it some more. There he is. Oh. There he goes. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that brand. There he is. Nice. Nice right there. All right guys, I've had a couple of hits running down this tree out here. Boy, it's hot. It's a nice one right there. Hey guys, I was just paddling Gary, watching Gary fish, and I had this lure hanging in the water. This nugget from Hildebrandt. This crappy but took my rod from me. Huh. Oh, there he is. See us. Oh, good one. Good one. Good one. Woo! Woo, yeah. He might be 11, 12 inches. Let's get him back. I'm gonna have to launch him off this hill. All right, guys, there's the first little bass. Not a bad little bass. On the nugget. All right, let's get him back. All right, everyone, as you can see, this lure catches a lot of species of fish. It'll catch big fish too, catch small fish. I like to throw this because those two arms and being practically wheelers, I like to throw it right in the thick cover or reel it close as I can to cover. I like to reel it, then I like to let it drop sometimes, but sometimes just a steady retrieve really good. But like you see in the videos I just showed, this thing will catch brim, crappie, bass, 
Um, you name it, it's gonna smallmouth bass. You name it, it's gonna catch them. You can get this little on Amazon. I'll post a link down there. A lot of stores have it, but I'm telling you, most stores don't carry this. So you can find it in a few tackle shops, but your best bet is going to be able to get this on Amazon or on some tackle, you know, like Tackle Warehouse may have it. I know Big Rock Sports carries it, but that's a supplier to tackle stores. But anyway, you can find it. It just may not be easy to find, but it's an awesome lure. I'm going to tell you, it is, like I said, it's practically weedless. I love to throw it on braided line. This is 20 pound braided line. I've got a 14 pound fluorocarbon leader. What's so great about this small lure is that's lead, or the new ones are bismuth, but that's lead. They changed to bismuth a few years back. But anyway, it's heavy for its size. I mean, that's a quarter ounce lure right there and look how small it is in my hand. This thing casts like a bullet. So you can cast a long way, stay away from the, far away from the fish where you don't spook them awesome lure like i said check out the description for links to it the chartreuse in my humble opinion is the best color out there but it seems harder to find right now um the purple one's fairly easy to find but what you can do is take this spike it right there this is garlic spike it as you see i keep it in a glass jar seal because if this stuff spills and gets on everything it's going to stain everything. But anyway, it's an awesome lure. Try it out. Let me know, guys, if you've ever used it before. Um, let me know if you buy it and use it and what you catch. An awesome lure. I'm going to go through some of my old lures right here and do videos on them. Let me know if you want to see videos on that. Leave some comments. But anyway, guys, do me a favor. Hit the subscribe button. It's going to be right in there somewhere. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.